establish our knee on belly position from here. This guy's gonna escape by pushing the knee. My knee drops down, I frame his arm. Swim inside, go for your dart stroke, but this time here it's just not tight enough, right? So what you're gonna do, every time you're gonna swim this hand in, you're gonna lie. So this knee's gonna drop, and you're gonna go lie beside him on your back like this. So you go underneath. Now it doesn't get any tighter than this. This arm's gonna wrap on the bicep, trap his neck, and you're gonna roll to the opposite side. And from here you finish your dart stroke. You can also sprawl, right? But most, most of the time when you finish from here, you don't need to sprawl, right? Because the twisting of turning your body inside and shooting your right arm deep is gonna get as tight as possible near the bicep. A lot of people tap just by getting the darts from your back, okay? So from here, all right? So once he escapes this, his arm is in the way. I trap his wrist. When I dra drive this one inside, okay? I'm gonna also remove my knee from underneath me and jab my body underneath him, like this. It's gonna go, trap his head, and just scoop underneath like this. Okay, now just from here, as I control, I can pat him out. But in order to make sure I get the, the submission, I'm gonna drive my body to the opposite side. And from here, secure the choke, and go for the submission. Okay guys? All right, last one, go, push.